In the last lecture, I gave you the list of nonlinear operators which are important in this course. Let's revise them quickly. Trigonometric, inverse trigonometric, logarithmic, exponential, roots, powers, modulus, signum, sampling, sync, along with them, real, imaginary, and conjugate. So these are the important nonlinear operators which we will use in this course. And you can observe one thing in this particular chapter, the basic system properties chapter, that we are focusing more on linearity and time variancy of the system. We are focusing more on linearity and time variancy as compared to the other system properties because the next chapter is based on LTI systems, where LTI stands for linear time invariant. Therefore, we need to have the clear understanding of the linear, nonlinear, time variant, and time invariant systems. So, we should know how to check the linearity of the system and also how to check the time variancy of the system. If you remember the lectures on time invariant and time variant systems, we obtained three conditions for a system to be time invariant system and by checking those three conditions we can easily find out if the given system is time invariant system or time variant system now to check the linearity we have obtained eight properties till now but there are two properties still left and once we are done with all the properties i will explain how to check the linearity of the system by using the transfer characteristics we will plot the transfer characteristics and from that characteristics we will comment about the linearity of the system. So this is what we are going to do and for this we will need one more lecture. In this lecture we will discuss the remaining two properties and in the next lecture we will discuss how to find out if the given system is linear or non-linear by the help of transfer characteristics. And after this I will explain what are invertible and non-invertible systems. So let's start with the property number 9. I will first read the property and then we will understand it. In case of linear systems, for zero input, output is also equal to zero. This means if we have a linear system and the input to that linear system is equal to zero, then the output of the linear system will also become zero. So this is one important property regarding the linearity of the system. In case of all linear systems, when input is zero, the output will be zero. Remember this property because I will use it while explaining the transfer function. It is used to explain the basics of transfer function. And now to explain this property, I will take two examples. In example number one, yt is equal to twice of xt. And from property number two, we know the linearity is independent of the coefficient used. So this two here will not affect the linearity and the system will be linear. But we want to check the linearity by the help of the ninth property. When input is equal to zero in linear systems, output is going to be zero. So if I make input equal to zero, we will have yt equal to two multiplied by zero, which is equal to zero. So when xt is equal to zero, yt is also equal to zero. Therefore, the system is linear system. In example number two, I will take the relationship which gives us non-linear result yt is equal to 2 plus xt and from property number 3 we know if any added or subtracted term other than input and output is available in the system relationship the system will be non-linear. So here 2 is there apart from the output and input therefore the system is non-linear but still we want to check it by using the property number 9. Let's make input xt equal to 0. Make it 0. You will get yt equal to 2. So yt is not equal to 0 when the input is equal to 0. Therefore, the system is non-linear because for every linear system, when input is 0, output is also 0. So remember this property and now we will move to our next property in which we will talk about the split systems. We have already discussed the split systems while discussing the time invariant and time variant systems and we found the split systems are time variant systems. Now we will try to find out if they are linear or non-linear and for this I will take problem number 16. In this problem output yt 
is equal to x t minus 1 when time t is less than 0 and it is equal to x t plus 1 when time t is greater than 0 or equal to 0. So you can see there is condition on time when t is negative y t is equal to x t minus 1 when t is positive and when it is equal to 0 y t is equal to x t plus 1 and as there is condition on time we call this system split system and to find out if it is linear or non-linear I will use the another representation y t is equal to a t x t minus 1 plus b t x t plus 1 and we need to define a t and b t a t is equal to 1 when t is less than 0 it is equal to 0 when t is greater than equal to 0 and b t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0 it is negative and b t is equal to 1 when t is greater than equal to 0. So in this way also we can define the split system given here. I have already explained how we can write the split system like this while discussing the time invariant and time variant systems but again you can check that this representation is same as this representation. When you check for t less than 0 you will find y t is equal to x t minus 1. In this representation a t is equal to 1 when t is less than 0. So from here we will have 1 multiplied by x t minus 1. So we will have x t minus 1. b t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0. So 0 multiplied by x t plus 1 will give us 0. So y t is equal to x t minus 1 which is same as this result. Now when t is greater than equal to 0 y t is equal to x t plus 1 y t is equal to x t plus 1 and you can see a t is equal to 0 when t is greater than equal to 0 therefore the first term will become 0 and b t is equal to 1 when t is greater than equal to 0 so the second term will be equal to x t plus 1 so y t is equal to x t plus 1 which is same as the result we have from the first representation so you can represent the split system like this also and now by using the properties we will find out if it is linear or non-linear. Here a t, b t and 1 here are the coefficients and we already know because of coefficients the linearity will not change. So 1, a t and b t will not change the linearity. Now we are left with x t minus 1 and x t plus 1. If you remember the problem y t equal to x t minus 1 plus x t plus 1 we solved this problem and we got the result as linear system the system was linear and you can also see this property written on the screen if the output is summation of time shifted terms of input then the system will be linear so x t minus 1 plus x t plus 1 will give us the result as linear Therefore, the overall system, the overall split system is a linear system. So whenever you see any split system, you can directly write down the answer as linear system. But split systems are time variant systems. Therefore, split systems cannot be linear time invariant systems because they are linear systems, but they are not time invariant systems. And for LTI systems, the system should be linear as well as time invariant. So this is our 10th property and this is all for this lecture. I will quickly write down the 10th property here. Split systems are linear systems. Now note down all the 10 properties which you can see on your screen. Note down these properties and we will use them in the coming chapter. So this is all. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section.